Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This past week, my makeup friend Jasker and aka Kearney Beauty and I really wanted to create a whimsical fairy look and edit for Halloween. This is how the image started off before I took it into Lightroom and then after adjusting colors, shadows, and etc, I brought it into Photoshop. So the first thing I always do is duplicate the layer as I don't like to edit on the main layer and then I choose the dodge and burn tools and go over the parts of the image that I want. The tree that she's sitting on was just too bright and taking away from taking away the focus from Jaskarin uh, and I made sure to darken that up as well as other trees and branches in the background. The next step was to create another layer and liquefy the dress. I really wanted to make it more seamless and less wrinkly and also wanted to make the train of the dress a little longer. Then I added a layer mask and made sure the ground isn't warped or looking too fake. Then I take the clone brush to clean up parts of the dress. Next I go to the burn tool to create a little shadow on the ground around the dress to make its new placement believable. Then I continue to clean the dress up with the dodge tool, clone tool, spot healing, and healing brush, and lastly the patch tool as well. Next I move on to her face and I brighten up the areas I want. Also I realize she's missing a gem so I replaced it with the clone tool. Next step is to skin smooth in, so what I usually do is I create another layer and go to surface blur, keeping the radius at 5 and threshold at 10, then create another layer mask, then take the paint brush and paint over her skin so only the parts of her uh, skin are actually smoothened and not the entire image. Next step is to create another layer of the image and go to high pass, radius at 3.6 and then go to the layer opacity, press soft light and 50% op opacity. What this does is it sharpens up the image overall, but not to an intense amount. Then I continue to smoothen out her skin to my liking and sharpen up her eyes as well as the gems with the sharpen tool. Then I go in with the spot healing brush to clean up the ground once again. I downloaded a bunch of different styles of wings and dragged in the ones I thought would fit her well. I play around with those for a bit. Honestly, these wings looked a little too fake for me, so I ended up using a different pair. So I dragged those ones in, the ones I liked, and change up the size to what I like uh, as well as I warp them a little bit. Then I go to image, hue, saturation and change the color to pink uh, which since her makeup is pink and I just think it flowed a little bit better. Then once again I create a layer mask and erase parts of the wings that I don't want. I play with the exposure a bit to see how opaque I want these wings to be and do the same step with the dodge burn tools as well. Then I duplicate the wings and try to adjust the left one to my liking and repeat the same step for the right one. I wanted to give the wings a pinker tone so I created another layer and used the paint bucket tool and painted it all pink. Then go to clipping mask and press that. What that does is that it only shows up on the layer before it aka the only, only the wings and the opacity for that I put at 50% as well as the soft light setting. Time to add the butterflies! I drag in my go-to ones that I always use and go to replace color under image and try to find a pretty pink color to work with. Then I created another layer of that to replace colors once again. This time I'm going to make it yellowish tone just because I wanted a variation of butterflies to work with. And then I start separating the butterflies creating their own layers so I can move them where I want to. Once I place all of them, uh, I change up their size to my preference. The goal is to make the size believable. And then I drag in haze images and see how opaque I want the layer to be. I choose lighten and 50% opacity. As you can see, I went back to the butterflies and realized that there's a lot more pink ones than not enough yellow ones. So I replace the colors of a few of them once again and keep adjusting their placement till I'm happy. Then I drag in more images of haze to see where I want to place it and make the opacity at 40 and lighten it. Then I take the burn tool and darken up parts of the haze. Next step is to go in where the butterflies are and make sure to create shadows where necessary to make sure they blend in well with the image itself. I also use the dodge and burn tools to make the butterflies lighting and tone more accurate to the overall image. I then make the haze visible and dodge and burn the background to my liking. I copy the image merge so I have all the layers present and go to high pass once again with this layer and put it on soft light and 50% just to sharpen the image overall. And then to bring more focus to the butterflies uh, and also to make them look more whimsy, I use the paintbrush tool and paint underneath the brushes, uh, sorry, paint underneath the butterflies to help them glow a little and I change the opacity to 65% and put it on soft light. And then the last step I do after saving the image is I send it to my phone and open it on Visco or VSC or whatever you all call it and I play with different filters. The KK2 worked really well and I added a vignette at 3 plus 
and sharpen the image at one plus. I saved the image and honestly, that's all. My visco filters helped make the image overall more whimsical and warm like I wanted. I hope you guys liked my image and edit. And if you do and you want these type of videos to keep coming, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you. Bye.